So you might be in a situation where your iPhone just keeps having these random pop-ups that just keep popping up. Now, this can happen for literally an infinite amount of reasons, but the very, very first thing you're going to want to just make sure for the most part is just to make sure that within your specific pop-up that you're reading it as closely as you can. If it's the same pop-up that keeps popping up, I'll explain that in a second. But if it's a different pop-ups that keep popping up, usually as soon as you reboot your phone or something, if it's something like this, all you want to do is just go ahead and read this pop-up as thoroughly as you can. A lot of the times, these random pop-ups that show up can be, you know, specific things that may be important to kind of look at. So just read it. If it allows you or if it doesn't allow you, you can choose whichever one you want to. But just go ahead and make sure that whatever you're doing, that it's, you know, not causing any issues on your device, but also making sure that, you know, you're reading the pop-ups. That's like the first thing I'd recommend doing. On top of that, if it's a specific pop-up that keeps popping up, most of the time, these things can happen because usually your iCloud account is being a little weird. So what you can try doing is make your way over to your settings application. You wanna go ahead and make your way over to your you know, sign-in page here. And you can tap on something like password or payment and shipping or something along those lines, sign-in security is one. Once you click on it, it may require you to actually type in your passcode or your you, you know Apple ID, username, everything like that, your password. So go ahead and do that. And usually any of the iCloud pop-ups that pop up won't actually be popping up anymore. On top of that, you may just want to go ahead and scroll down and any of these other applications, if you need to give them permission to certain things, like if it's a Facebook thing that keeps popping up, you can tap on a Facebook and you could probably give it specific, you know, access to certain applications or certain things, settings within your phone. You can try doing that. You can also try going and scrolling through, like I mentioned, and seeing if there's anything else that can you, you can enable. On top of that, another thing I'd recommend looking into is actually within your general settings. So tap into general settings and then go and click on software update and you may just want to go ahead and update your phone. That's another thing that can probably cause some issues too. So just go ahead and update your phone. And that's another thing that can probably cause, you know, end up fixing some problems as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.